so obviously, you know, the, the one thing I couldn't get past in this movie is that Natalie is convinced that she needs to date someone like across the country, right? On the East Coast. I know I personally couldn't do long distance, but Nina, obviously I know that uh, Sean is training for the Winter Olympics. How do you guys make it work being so far apart these days? I think that technology is wonderful in, in, in the case of a lot of people who either in the pandemic last year who couldn't see their families, who couldn't be close to their loved ones. Like it, FaceTime has been such a, a, a blessing for a lot of people. Please tell me you are calling me after the most intense sex of your life. Hard to have sex when you've been catfished, but you won't believe what happened. You're telling me the guy exists and he's there? You should totally go for it. I know tag. Let me make it up to you. I can help you get him. One week, no more lies. You're going to set me up with tag. Obviously in the film, Natalie really swipes through her share of riffraff on the dating app. Uh, you know, generally, what are your guys' thoughts on dating apps? Nina, I'll start with you. I have never been on a dating app. Lucky. So I don't have that many opinions. I, I have assisted a lot of my girlfriends in creating their profiles, hey. craft text messages, helping, um, you know, swat, like I, I see it as like a video game. Like if, if I were a gamer, like dating Absolutely. apps are my game because it's like, it, there's no stakes for me. So mm -hmm. I just had to like orchestrate and decide the fate for my friends. Jimmy, are you pro dating apps? I, I am. I think that's just the, the way it is now. I was uh, definitely using dating apps uh, before I met my girlfriend. I love meeting people in person, but especially during a pandemic and stuff, not everybody could. And I think dating apps, you got to choose the right app. Every app mm -hmm. kind of inadvertently attracts a certain crowd. And I think what Nina's doing is, is, is really smart. Get a second opinion. Yes. You, from an opposite sex, if it's possible. Because I know guys, just like my character in the movie, can make horrible, horrible dating profiles without even knowing it. Right. <laughs> Darren, what advice do you have for online dating? Any tips? Um, <laughs> don't try to be too clever, I guess. I mean, I've only, I've only used a dating app like once, and it was like right after college. And that's the honest truth. I've never been super into it. Yeah. Um, but don't try and be too clever. You know, I, my friends, I see them shoot their shot with these just horrible pickup lines. And I'm like, it's not always the way, man. You right. know, you don't always have to have some punny joke. It can just be, hello, how are you? So. Well, Nina, I love hearing that you assist your friends with these apps. So I'm going to ask you for some help right now. If you could write a dating profile for Jimmy, what would be in that bio? Oh my goodness. Pressure. <laughs> Do you want to get dinner? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm an excellent good. cook. I'll put that in there. You know what I mean? A couple yeah. of I just think straight to the chase is the is the secret to success with dating apps. Like you don't waste time, right? I waste time going back and forth, like exactly. you know, messages. Like it, it's all about you're everyone's searching for connection at the end of the day. Right. So right. why not? get to the part where you figure out whether you connect or not. And that's mm -hmm. like the only person. Jimmy, what would you write in Darren's dating profile? I don't think, need, look at his face. <laughs> you know, I think it just needs to be an up arrow pointing at his face. <laughs> like, hey, this is the real me. This is the real me. Do you want to see the rest of it? You know, I think <laughs> I think that that's the dating profile. That's it. Speaks I want to give, give you a hug, Jimmy, I miss you. I know. All right, Darren, your turn. What would you write in Nina's dating profile bio? Uh oh, <laughs> shoot. Have you, you know, or you know, like what you know, what 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 do you think needs to be in there so th th it's a good sell? <laughs> I think it could also just be an up arrow. Right, right. Also, I mean, considering her current dating life, I don't I don't think there's much. I think it would just be like pass. <laughs> like, Honestly, or just like I'm good. You they know? would probably think Nina was a catfish, actually. Yeah, they yeah, got to catch too, right? Has right. Yeah. Will you guys help me settle it? Uh, is it better to date someone on the West Coast or the East Coast? I think West Coast for me. I love the East Coast, but only like maybe six months out of the year. Right. Uh, but I would say I, I didn't know this because I grew up in Hong Kong and then the West Coast. There's a cuffing season and it's very real on the East Coast. Right. I'm, I'm cuffing. Cuffing, cuffing season. season. What does that mean? 
See, see, you so West Coast, you don't even know, Nina. I'm, it, actually, it's, I'm from Toronto. I'm so <laughs> when, isn't there a cuffing season in Toronto? Like, uh, what is it? Like before it gets too cold, you got to cuff someone and lock them down so you spend a winter with them. Oh, oh yeah, I didn't know there was a term for that. Yeah. What is, what is the Canadian term? No, no, I, it's definitely a thing. I just didn't know that there was a word for it. Cuffing season. There you have it, folks. Darren, keeping it in the Netflix family, I want to know about Never Have I Ever season three. Have you had any conversations with Mindy Kaling or Lang Fisher about Paxson's path, or what are you hoping to explore in the next season? Zero conversations have been had really? about that. Yeah. Um, obviously, we leave off with him and Davey finally, you know. We'll give it away. Are you here as my friend or as my. Damn, Davey. You're gonna make me say it as your boyfriend. It's the ending you were looking for. I think a lot of people were looking for at the end of season two. So season three is going to be exploring that. My character, it's the first time he's been in a serious relationship. And I don't know how he's going to navigate that having been such a free bird. Um, especially with Davey, who is, you know, everyone, she's always been like below his social status, whatever that means. Um, so it's going to, going to be an interesting dynamic to watch.